Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a game called Honk. Um, an annoying sound, I suppose. That's why the uh, one insurance company uses them as their annoying eye flack. Um, Honk the Goose. Well, this is a game that is clearly, clearly for kids. This is a game where you can uh, collect cards and turn those cards in to get different geese. There's five different, I think there's a bunch of different geese in this game. There's 32 different geese and you're trying to collect them so that you can get eggs or especially golden eggs. Pretty simple game. Here's how it plays. At the beginning of the game, you're going to put some golden eggs on the table. These golden eggs secretly have a value of one to three. And on top of these eggs, you're going to be placing kind of randomly a bunch of geese, a gaggle of geese. And so you're just placing these geese around, making sure that they cover up all the golden eggs and just scattering them around. Then one person goes first and you're just going to take turns. On a turn, you're either going to feed a goose or you're going to take food cards. Taking food cards is pretty simple. You take two cards. Uh, they just have to be different colors. I could take a purple and a yellow. The cards themselves are pretty decent quality cards and you can see they're pretty easy to tell apart. You can't have more than seven cards in your hand, so if you take more, you discard down to seven. The other thing you can do is you can feed a goose and if you have the food required, red, yellow, and purple, to take a goose and there's nothing else on top of that goose. So there's actually another goose laying on its goose's butt. But let's say there wasn't, or I could have taken that one, I suppose. You simply pay and then you take that goose. That's the wrong goose. This is the one I just paid for. You take that one. You don't move anything else. When you take a goose, you get one egg for that goose for each goose of that type that you have. So if I took this one, I'd get one point. If I took this one, which is the exact same goose, and you can always tell because they look the same, but they also have the exact same food requirements. So the second time, I would get two, and so on. So as you're taking these, eventually you'll take some, and if you take a goose and it uncovers an egg or so, you will also get those golden eggs that you can keep for secret points at the end of the game. The game ends when all the geese are taken. And then you just count up your eggs. You'll count up all these normal eggs you've gotten from taking geese, plus the value on your golden eggs, and whoever has the most is the winner. Okay, now, one thing is, again, you gotta be really clear when you look through this here, that it says ages five plus on this game, and this is a game where that's an accurate thing. This is a game that's going to work for families, but with families with young children. If you see how to play this game, you might it might remind you of some other games like Splendor, things like that. You're collecting stuff to then turn those cards in to take geese. Pretty simple. I need that geese. It costs two blues. I'll take a blue and a red. Next turn, I'll take a blue and a purple. The next turn, I pay those two blues to get that. Easy enough. You want to collect geese that are the same. But see, this is what I like about games like Honk. This is why I'm, I'm a fan of this style of game, because what Honk does is it teaches good concepts that will come into play in other games as kids get older, but doing so still in a fun way without overwhelming the kids. And this is the kind of game that my son and I were able to play and he had a great time with because it's, hey, collect these cards. Wait a minute, Dad, you just bought the geese that I was going to take. Yeah, I know. So now you need to figure out what to do with those cards and kind of change lanes a little bit to pick up another goose. Hey, I don't want to pick that goose up because if I pick that one up, you're going to get the one underneath it. And the one underneath it, when it's uncovered, shows off some golden eggs. But other than that, there's not much strategy. Collect the colors of the geese that are on the top, take them. But it's fun, it has good components, and it does last about 20 minutes, which it says in the box. And I think that's a really good thing. So if you have younger children, this is a game I think you're going to like a lot. And you can play it with them without being totally bored. Because again, it's pretty simple, just collecting cards, turning them in and get geese. And then the golden eggs add a little bit of magical woohoo-hoo, what did you find to it? So, and it's also a nice little small box, easy, portable, honk. I'll give this one uh, for kids, definitely a 7 out of 10. Check it out. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time.